Hello everybody, my name is Antonina Brulkova. Today is Saturday and I'll tell you the fairy tale about Snow Maiden. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, a peasant woman looked out the window of her cottage to watch the village children play in the snow. She did this often because also she led a very happy life with her husband. There was still a longing in her heart. The woman and the husband had no children of their own, and their biggest wish was to one day be able to watch their own child play in the snow. The husband one day suggested to his wife that they should go outside and build a snowman instead of sitting in the house all day. The wife agreed, but wanted instead to build a girl, a snow maiden. The couple spent that whole day carefully building and molding a snow maiden. They inserted two bright blue beads for her eyes and a bright red ribbon for her mouth. Then they stood back to look at their beautiful creation. As they watched they noticed something. It looked as if the snow maiden was smiling. The couple then realized she was coming to life. After she smiled, her hair curled up and she walked into the house. The peasant couple finally had a daughter of their own. Snow maiden grew to be beautiful. Her eyes gleamed bright blue and her Flaxen hair hung down to her waist. Snow Maiden was, however, very pale, with no color in her cheeks or lips. But this did not make her any less beautiful. As winter melted into spring and the weather started getting warmer, Snow Maiden started to behave strangely. She no longer wanted to go outside to play with the other children and she began to hide in the dark places of the house. The husband and wife began to worry about her. Soon summer came and Snow Maiden was more withdrawn than ever. One day her friends asked her to join them on a trip into the woods to pick berries. Snow Maiden was reluctant to join, but at the persistence of her parents went along. In the woods, Snow Maiden were, was sure to stay in the shade. When nightfall came, her friends built a fire and played games jumping over it. Snow Maiden, however, sat by an icy river. Her friends called to her to join their games, but Snow Maiden did not want to go. But as the night went, the snow maiden grew very lonely by herself at the river and decided to join their games. Jump over the fire! Her friends yelled at her. Snow maiden took a step, ran toward the fire, jumped and melted away. The poor peasant couple were once again childless. If you like my Fairy tale, please put some up and see you next Saturday. Goodbye.